This next song is dedicated to one of the most sacred numbers in a sacred geometry practice. Um, we're talking about a shape with three sides, three angles, three vertices that come together to form only the holiest of shapes, the triangle. Yes, yes, the triangle. Now, um, if you can just shout out for me who you think the most famous person in the history of the triangle is, let's hear it. Well, wow, you all nailed it. You know, this is the second time we've done it. I guess Ann Arbor's just full of smart people or something. Uh, yeah, so I'm really pleased to share today that um, the spirit of Pythagoras is with us on stage right now. And if you could let me know uh, who on stage right now has the most Pythagorean vibe. Who is it? Oh, whoa, yeah, yeah, y'all nailed it. Okay, so that's right. The spirit of Pythagoras is occupying Ezra, so let me please introduce to you Pythagoras. Hello. I come to you from beyond the grave. Many centuries, many millennia, many eons ago, I grazed this very earth that we live on right now. My name, as you've heard, is Pythagoras. And you may know me for a few things. Of course, there's that pesky formula for the triangle, which, uh, you know, it's my name has lived on through the ages, uh, whatever. But, you know, you know, these notes that you play here, you owe all of that to me. All these frequencies and harmonics, that's all my work. But, but really, one thing in life was incredibly important, important to me, Pythagoras. And that is a little humble thing that we call the bean. Everyone heard of the bean? Yes? Good, good, good. Yes. So, I, Pythagoras, love beans. Keep that in mind as I tell you this tale of a dreadful, woeful day in my life. So one day, I, Pythagoras, was walking through ancient Greece. You know, maybe it was Thrace, or Sparta, or Athens, or Crete, or something like that. Um, so I was walking, minding my own business, doing my Pythagorean things, when, when, I, when I came across a, a group with pitchforks and signs and flames and things that for some reason was hell-bent on my destruction. They, they were just anti-Pythagoreans, what can I say? I have many, many followers and many haters, and it's just the life of someone as, as important as I, Pythagoras. So what else would I do but I ran? I ran away, I ran away as fast as I can. No mob can catch Pythagoras, inventor of triangles. So, over hills, over valleys, over rivers, over woods, over every imaginable terrain I went, I leapt. But, unfortunately, to my incredible dismay, I came across the one thing that I could not cross. That, my friends, was a field of beans. I was unable to these things that I viewed as so holy, so important, I could not trample them and destroy their lives in order to save my own. So I did what anyone would do. I turned around towards their mob with their pitchforks and their scythes, and I resigned myself to my fate. So, this dreadful day of mine, I hope will leave you with but one lesson, which I will now impart. And that is beans! 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 Beans!
the heart. The more you eat, the more you 